On today's episode of Watch Jerigo, we are back with my new GMC Envoy XUV. And today we're gonna fix the first problem with this truck. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jerigo, and like I said, I'm here with my 2004 GMC Envoy XUV. As you can see, it's sort of open and sitting here. And what we're gonna do today is hop into the back and uh, fix the broken mid-gate glass. So right now we're gonna test that mid-gate glass. I'll show you what it sounds like when it's broken, how to replace everything back there, go through it all, rebuild it, and make the mid-gate work properly. Once you do that, well for me, the back's broken too. So that gives me like a usable car and then I can troubleshoot the back next. So the next video, we'll be working on the tailgate, but this video is all about the mid-gate. Let's go. Listen to this. <laughs> That's the mid-gate motor. Uh, I'd say that regulator is trash. And I am back with the mid-gate window regulator. This is a Dorman 741072. This is the one you want if you're doing this job. All the other ones are crazy expensive. You can get it from GM still if you want, but it's about $300. This one's about 150 and it comes with a new motor, which is a little bit unfortunate because uh, I'm sure the motor could be saved. But anyway, that's what you got. It's a big old regulator. It actually attaches the glass at two points. And this was the only one in the entire city. We live in a pretty big city, about a half million people in the metro area. And uh, there was one from all of the parts stores. So they only made 27,200 XUVs. It sold terribly. One of the reasons that it's kind of a, a failure, but parts, parts are gonna be hard to find on this thing. I also know that this latch, the one, one of these latches, one of the ones I need, maybe if I can't fix these is like $250. So just know you might be getting into an expensive situation, but if you get it all working and you don't have to spend a ton of money, it's a really cool car. Now that we've got this window regulator, let's tear the mid gate apart and install it. Okay, we've got some tiny covers here on the handle. Well, there's supposed to be two, but on this thing there's one, a bunch of Phillips screws. So one here, uh, two here, and possibly some under here. You want to probably, hey, just kind of like that. Just don't lose them the way I just did. Uh, pop that off and find what looks like a 13 right there. So we'll start with the Phillips. Tough to get down in there. All right, and then two in the handle. Ooh. Don't slip. All right, that should let you pull the whole handle off. There's that cover. You might want to set all this stuff somewhere where you can find it so you don't lose those <laughs> covers that I just exploded off of here. And let's get the other one real quick. There we go, and pull these 13s out. All right, there's one. Oh. Dropping fasteners. Okay, uh, I think now we have basically everything out of here. I should be able to get this cover off. Just pull around it, just like this. There's a bunch of it or even all of it. Okay, take a look at that. There's the regulator and the glass. So that only took a few seconds in real time. Of course, there's a connector right here. You'll need to depress, it's that release button. Let me do that real quick. Push down, boom, no big deal. And I think this can just lay here while you're working on the thing. Grab your tools. Just let it down. Then you don't have to do anything crazy like unhooking the whole harness. So you might want to hook this switch up one more time because you do need to release the mid gate. You can just use a paper clip because it's a contact closure and trip it, which this might actually work. Just a socket, which would be funny. But uh, <laughs> it didn't work. So we're going to pull these two tins right here. These two tins are what's holding on the glass, but it also has a uh, a little retainer that's gonna keep it on to the regulator. All right, now the glass is free. Put those bolts there. And what we're gonna do is slide this up just a little bit. Oh man, it clicked in. I did not want it to click in. But let's push the button. It should snap forward. 
Perfect. Now this thing can go ahead and move down. And I'm just gonna rest it on my knee and pick the glass up. Oh, there it goes. Come on. I think it's gonna sit. And I also think I could do this regulator really fast. So this is gonna be very expensive or real time, very fast. So here's the regulator motor. There's a clip right there on the back. And there's another switch here that tells it the window's closed, you'll need to remove. So you can see there's another 13, another 13, another 13, after you get those bottom ones out that are hidden under the covers. This is an easy job other than those two connectors right there. Oh! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. It's really hard to get that thing off. But uh, the bottom still clips on, and I did get some JB Weld. We'll put the top tab back on that thing and get it all perfect again. Almost there. This one's definitely been replaced before. I think all of these have been replaced multiple times in every one of these cars. Uh, they break a lot. It's very common. Oh, it's almost out. I think what we'll do is get the bottoms and we'll try to go down with them. Come on. How much more room do you want? Okay, it's out, put the glass kind of back. Now we can see this gigantic connector that I couldn't get off, and it comes right off. A little bit of epoxy right there, should fix the window switch forever. Uh, this is how it senses the window position, just a contact closure, nothing crazy. This is, the mid gate is very simple and very nice. While our switch repair is drying, it's the perfect time to throw in the new regulator. So, let's climb in here. Probably push the glass right back up out of our way. Let's see, it mounts like this. So we'll get it laid out, ready to go in. Lift the glass up one more time. It's resting on the plastic a little bit. Kind of help it not fall down. And this regulator is a little more greased than the old one. Come on now, that must be close. There's one and two. Wish I had some nuts for this. And let's go ahead and flip this one this way. The other way. So we can try to sneak it up underneath the glass too. I do not understand how I took this out with no problems because it doesn't want to go back in with no problems. There it goes. Lots of finagling, but it's in. Oh, my hands are covered in grease, but we're going to have to go ahead and hit the glass because the glass will let us retain this thing. All right, she's in, she is in. Let's find all the nuts and shoot this thing back together. Start all these by hand. So we have about an hour wait before I can actually reattach the window position switch, which is just a contact closure again, like I said, but Everything else here is good. So what I'm gonna do is hook up the window motor here. I think everything's okay with the switch being open. Let's try to run it up. It's a long reach here. Window one. And I left uh, the screws loose so it should locate itself.
It doesn't run quite as smoothly as it should. Let's see if we can move things around just a little bit more. That should let the tracks walk just a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay, you heard that the window likes that. So, just a couple clicks, no big deal. Run it back down, pretty smooth. I'd say that's about the bottom, so let's tighten the bottom up and then test again. A couple more clicks, boom. All right, let's try this one more time. Yeah. I like it. I just need to get this switch back on there and as soon as that switch clicks in, uh, everything will work as it should. When you push this button, I think, I'm just assuming here, but I think it will automatically roll this window down and then pop the latches. Whereas before, obviously the window was just all the way down so it would always pop the latches. So, uh, set the timer. We'll give it an hour or so. It's been a little bit since I glued this and then we'll pop that switch on and we will be home free. Honestly, that switch will hold as is, but I just don't want to break it. This thing is pretty cool, and I'm glad we got this basically straightened out. There's the failure on this one. Uh, that cable came out, it goes over that roller, and then down here, it hooks in there, and it uh, self-destructed, and when they do that, the cable winds up in there. You can see it's destroyed the thing. There's like a notch, and the cable eats everything up, so. That's how they get ruined. All right, it's been a couple hours since we epoxied this switch onto its tab. It's on there. It can be actuated. I, I'd like to give it more cure time, but we also need to get this put back together, so let's put it back together right now. So, we're gonna start with the release switch. Don't forget about that thing. All right. And now we can actually snap everything together. So, you probably wanna get this. You have to kind of fight that over. Yeah, that's a nightmare. And then you can snap everything else in. Couple more. We'll throw all of our Phillips screws back in here. You got the center one and the two in the handle. Okay, maybe. There we go. And these last two, after you slide the handle in, whoop, of course I threw one. It was bound to happen. After you get those screws in, you can put all the covers back. There should be two of these, I only have one. They go right here over these screws, and it's time to test. Didn't, didn't work. Maybe the car has to be on. And it's time to test. Oh, what's it say? Tailgate a jar, who cares? Okay. The XUV now thinks the rear tailgate's closed. Let's see if this works. Have to hold it or something? Huh. I thought this thing would automatically roll the window down. Maybe it doesn't. It does say you have to roll the window down on there, but it sure seems like it should be full auto. So there you have it. The mid gate is fixed. That wasn't too bad of a repair. It probably took you know, with the parts run three hours because that took quite a while to go find the one in the city. Like I said before, these parts are expensive because they're rare. Uh, there's just no reason to keep a bunch of them around. So next up, we'll tackle this tailgate. It's time to really dig into this and try to make it work properly. And then we'll have a fully working XUV when it's done. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjr.com where you get cool shirts, not like this. And please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time.
Be my love, won't you be my 